Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Dear students, Assalamu alaikum. Our today's topic is what are run ons? What are run on sentences? Actually, a run on occurs when two sentences are run together with no adequate sign given to mark the break between them. Okay, and there are two types of run on sentences one is fuse sentences and another one is comma splices so fuse sentences here two sentences are given the bus is stopped suddenly i found myself in an old man's lip so this is a kind of a run on sentence in which two ideas are given without any kind of break for example, the bus stopped suddenly, one idea, I found myself in an old man's lap. So there is no any uh, proper division of these two ideas. They both are merged, they are fused in one sentence. Another one is, we heard a noise in the garage, two birds had flown in through the open window also two ideas are given here without any kind of uh, adequate sign given to mark break between them another type of run on sentence is comma splices a comma is used to connect or splice together the two complete thoughts however a comma alone is not enough to connect two complete thoughts. Some connection stronger than a comma alone is needed. So sometimes we, uh, even if we uh, use comma, but it is not enough. So we need to use properly. So we call that one as comma splices. Like the bus is stopped suddenly, comma. I found myself in an old man's lap. Then we heard a noise in the garage, comma, two birds had flown in through the open window. Comma splices are the most common kind of run on. Students sense that some kind of connection is needed between two thoughts and so put a comma at the dividing point but the comma alone is not sufficient a stronger clear mark is needed between the two thoughts now come to the solution there are four ways to correct run-ons method one period and a capital letter if you have two run-ons it's very simple and easy to divide them like the bus stop suddenly full stop i found myself in an old man's lap two different sentences two different ideas we heard a noise in the garage two birds had flown in through the open window method two is comma and a joining word like joining words are and but for or nor so yet and so on so the bus stopped suddenly, comma, and I found myself in an old man's lip. If you do not use joining word here, it will be considered as a run on sentence, means uh, considered as a wrong sentence. And we heard a noise in the garage for two birds had flown in through the open window semicolon very simple just put semicolon to separate two ideas the bus stopped suddenly semicolon i found myself in an old man's lap when we heard and the second one is we heard a noise in the garage semicolon two birds had flown in through the open window so this is also a way to correct your sentence Fourth method of joining related thoughts is to use subordination. Subordination is a way of showing that one thought in a sentence is not as important as another thought. Here are uh, two examples. Okay. Uh, for example, when the bus stopped suddenly, 
I found myself in an old man's lab. We heard a noise in the garage when two birds had flown in through the open window. Notice that when we subordinate, we use dependent words such as when, because and although. Thanks for watching. Allah Hafiz.